Hi guys, Cameron here and welcome to another unboxing, opening thing that I have got going now. What this is, is this is the Magic the Gathering Necron Commander deck. Um, the Necron Dynasty's Commander deck. It is something that I am very interested in. However, I, well, one, I've never put anything Magic up on this channel before. And two, I've hardly ever played Magic. I've never played it with my own deck for sure. So this is my first and only Commander deck currently. Um, my friends play, I really enjoy playing, but I've not played that much. So I thought I would get this box uh, or get this pack deck, whatever the technical lingo is, this is the problem. It's going to be a lot of me waffling for this video because I don't know the terminologies and I don't know exactly what it all does. But what we'll do is we will open this up, see everything that comes into it. You'll have probably seen a couple of others of these on the interwebs if you've managed to get to this part of my channel. But I do really enjoy doing this sort of stuff and it is absolutely fantastic. So what we will do is we will go to a top down kind of view where we can look at the cards, see everything that there is, and I will see what there is in this box. So we will see you in just a second. So here we go, I have popped open the bottom of the box so I can pull these out easier. This is something, like I say, I'm not particularly I, a master on, so you're going to be just listening to me blabble about Magic the Gathering. We've got box here, um, nice shiny card at the front, a couple of tokens by the looks of it, and actually something I've not noticed anyone talking about. You got we punch out tokens here again. Um, I don't know why, because like I say, I don't play magic, but there's a bunch of punch out tokens. Why is no one talking about that? So I have opened up this box, um, but I have not sleeved these cards yet because I have not got my sleeves. What else do we get in it though? We get a lovely life counter for Necrons, which, you know, is just absolutely fantastic. Looks great, I think. And then we also get this, I'll say flimsy card box. It is only made out of cardboard, which I suppose is better than nothing. Um, folds up nicely and it will fit the full deck in there. I will show you that now. Let's see, so there we go. Fits them no problem. And if you had your sleeves on, they would definitely fit easier, well, um, safely and secure and whatnot. So there is no harm in using this deck box at all. Now, you get a couple of other punch out things which take their time to come out, apparently. Um, maybe just dividers in a box, not too sure um, kind of if these are useful at all. Like I say, I'm just going to blab. But let's put them to the side because this is what we are here for. Now, you get this fold out bit, which talks to you about the commanders uh, and kind of who and what they are. And then also gives you some lovely um, lore. That's the word. I am a 40k enthusiast. Um, I'm not necessarily a magic enthusiast yet, but one point I will be. Now, what you do seem to get, uh, have I put these around the wrong way? Maybe? Yeah, there we go. You get two of this card. Um, Serizak the Silent King. Now, this one is considerably thicker. I, I'm pretty sure you're not meant to play with this. And this one is just your standard magic card. Um, so, yeah, um, nice extra, but not important. Um, you've then got um, this guy who can be your commander. Um, a nice kind of hollow foil, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Flying, my will be done. Um, so it's really, really nice and seems like a lovely card. You've then got another legendary creature. Um, so another one that can be your commander, which is... Immortech the Stormlord. Um, so, yeah, uh, seems to be quite nice. You then get 10 of the same card, which is a 1 1 
um, Insect Flyer, uh, or Insect with Fly, and a 2-2 Necron Warrior, token artifact creature. So these guys, I, I know, can be spawned and used and whatnot by various people and people, various cards. I'm going to split this up. Um, and we will see what I can do here. So we've got another legendary creature, uh, Anorakari, Anor Anor the Traveler. Yep, the Traveler. Um, so nice there. I will pop these down just on the ground. We've got the Biotransference um, just there. Chronomancer, that's one I can say. I'm glad I can say that. Another artifact creature um, just here, and it is the Cryptek, Necron Wizard. It's strange to think of Necrons having uh, wizards. Uh, or Seraz, Illuminar Seraz, another legendary creature. I. Locust, Heavy Destroyer, Artifact Creature, Necron with Fly. Um, from what I gather, a lot of these things uh, have Fly, um, if I remember correctly. You've got the Lich Guard, Necron Death Marks, which are Artifact Creature with Flash. Flash is not one that I've heard of. You'll have to let me know in the comments what Flash means, because I have no idea. Necron Overlord, Artifact Creature. Out of the Tombs, Enchantment. Royal Warden, which is an artifact creature. Kind of like this symbol down here. It's 3 2, so seems alright. Shard of the Nightbringer. It's a creature, a Catan. Alright, okay. Um, and it is flying. Uh, and that is an 8 8. It's not bad at all. Shard of the Void Dragon is another creature with flying. It is another Catan. 7 7. This is a model that I am desperately wanting to get. Sotek Lord. Um, no, sorry, Scorpec Lord. Uh, I was looking at that going, no, that's not right. Um, and that is a lovely, noble um, Necron artifact creature just there. Um, you then have the Technomancer just there. And you have their name is Death Sorcery. The number is Legion is the next one just here. And then you've got Tomb Blade, which is an artifact creature with flying again. See, I think a lot of them have flying. Trazan the Infinite with Death Touch. Again, not something I've come across before. A Triarch Stalker. Oh, that's me hitting my phone stand, so I do apologise. The War in Heaven. Let me see if I can steady this phone again. An Enchantment. Canoptic Scarab Swarm, Artifact Creature, it's a 1-1. One, one. Canoptic Spider with Flying. Canoptic Tomb Sentinel, Vigilance, I've heard of that before. Canoptic Wraith. Uh, Convergence of the Dominion. Crypto Thrall. Ghost Ark, Flying. Necron Monolith, flying and indestructible. Resurrection Orb. Now, let's tidy these up, because otherwise this is going to get a little hectic, and I know it will. So that's all cleared up. We will continue on. Legendary Artifact, the Spectre of Eternal Glory. And, oh, we've then got some land for the Tomb Fortress. Beacon of Unrest for Sorcery. Living Death. I like how we've gone from some really green art to some really kind of white drab art. Uh, Mutilate Sorcery. Cage Sun. Endless Atlas. Gilded Lotus. There's a thing in magic about lotuses. Um, Mystic Forge, which is another artifact. Sculpting Steel. 
Flayed Ones, Lifelink, Artifact Creature. That artwork is really nice, actually. I think that looks great. Hex Mark Destroyer. Oh, this is one that I've seen. So he's got six arms. It costs six mana, and it's a six-six. Um, and it's it's just like how many sixes can we cram in a card, uh, which I think is really really cool. Uh, Plasmancer, artifact creature, flying again. Another one with flying, which is a Psychromancer. Sotek Immortals with flash. Scorprick Destroyer with Death Touch. Triarch Praetorian with flying. Didn't realize Triarch Praetorians could fly, I'll be honest. The Battle Quasaw. Sorry, read that wrong. Night Scythe with flying. Um, Defile, which is an instant. Oh, I'm hitting my camera. I do apologize. This is the problem with being shit at my job here. Sorcery for the Dread Return. That's real nice, but should that not be called Reanimate? Um, Crinal Plating. Uh, I've never heard of that before, but sure. Um, Her Her Hedron um, Archive, which is an instant artifact. We've then got Mask of Memory, their artifact. Soul Ring, as far as I understand, all um, commander decks come with a soul ring. Um, so there's mine. Um, Baron Moor, which is land. Maillard Landscape, more land. Or is this just entire lands? Requ relic reliquary? Rel reliquary Tower, how do we pronounce that? Ooh, darkness. That's a fancy artwork. Go for the throat. Oh look, an ultramarine. You know, the start of my ultramarine deck collection. Arcane Signet. Commander Commander's Sphere. Mindstone. And that is the last of those ones. So let's tidy those up. Pop them down there. And then we've got the last batch. Thought Vessel. Unstable Obelisk. Like my mind. Unstable. Wayfarer um, Bulb. Desert Glory Field, which is a land. Desert. Desert land. Poultred Mire. More land. Vault of Whispers. Artifact land. And then here we go, actually. Let me put these ones here because these are just onto the lands or the swamps. So we've got this nice basic swamp. We've got more. I like this one. That's a really cool artwork. Is this just all the same? Let me go through them all. Now, we've then got this. Popular magic formats. Your turn! So how to play. One thing though is how many lands do we get in here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So 30 basic lands and that is this box of Necron uh, Dynasty Commander deck. Absolutely fantastic. So there we go, guys. That is everything that you get in this brand new Commander deck um, for the Necron Dynasties. It is a lovely box. Um, the cards seem, from what I know of Magic, absolutely fantastic. Um, my friends who I play with um, are a little worried about this deck, but we will see what comes of it. But yes, it is great. I'm super glad that I picked it up. 
and thank you all for coming along and sitting through me rambling as someone who doesn't understand magic and doesn't know much about magic so I really do appreciate you all listening to everything that's been going on but what I will say is please don't forget to like comment and subscribe all that helps me in the algorithms and everything and it is really 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 appreciated honestly you have no idea how much it is um, and also I have a new affiliate link I have a new affiliate link for the place I managed to pick this up from, Magic Madhouse. They do do Warhammer, which uh, means that everyone who normally watches my videos can hopefully go there. But everyone who is here looking at the Magic the Gathering stuff that I kind of might do in the future or not, please, please, please use that affiliate link. It's just in the description below. It is on my link tree. It'll be posted everywhere else that I normally post things and it really does give me a kickback to this channel and it allows me to buy things such as this. Because as hopefully some of you do know, I am a poor student. I am doing my postgrad in teaching, so I don't get paid just now. I'm not employed. I don't earn money off YouTube. So my affiliate links really do help and everyone who has used them so far, thank you so much. So yes, please use my Magic Madhouse um, affiliate link. That is absolutely fantastic and I've already used it myself. Um, I also have one for Element Games and Noble Knight Gaming. There's also a couple of other links in my um, link tree, which you can find my social medias and everything. So please do go and check them out. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. Take care and bye bye. Thanks very much for watching guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and use my affiliate links in the description below. Take care and bye bye.